people wanted more Fate shorts, so okay, Leonardo da Vinci. And perhaps the most notable thing about her is that she is her. In Fate, Leonardo takes on a female form, and it's explained that she loved her greatest masterpiece, the Mona Lisa, so much that as a magical summoned servant, she chose to become it. Which is interesting, because there's not a lot of historical evidence that the Mona Lisa was that important to Leonardo. It's the most famous painting in the world now, for reasons I could make a whole other short about, but for Leonardo, it was, as far as we know, just a commissioned portrait of a wealthy merchant's wife to commemorate the birth of their second son, which he procrastinated on for years and never actually finished, which, as someone who's done commission art for a living, yeah, relatable. And it's fascinating that the legacy of the Mona Lisa in the modern day is so overpowering that a pop culture work like Fate assumes that it must have been as important to the maker as it is to us and makes character design decisions based on that perception. And while I think it's a little tragic that the image of Leonardo da Vinci, who once conspired with Machiavelli to steal an actual river, is reduced to merely his most famous painting, it is really cool that Fate saw fit to include transgender representation in its earliest roster of characters. Good on your fate. Subscribe to this channel for shorts or see my main channel for longer in-depth videos.